Now we're ready to start the cleaning process. The first part of the system we want to clean is the supply runs. On this particular unit we have discovered that there is no air conditioning, but there is a reheat coil located just below the burners. We need to block this off using a zone bag on top of the heat exchangers just below where we will place our vacuum hose. As you can see here, we have cut a hole in the duct above the heat exchangers so that we can put our zone bag over it to protect it. Right above this we're going to cut our hole for our vacuum hose. We're using an 8 inch hose, so we'll cut an 8 inch hole. You can do this by simply marking an 8 inch hole and cutting it with tin snips, or you can use a Malco hole cutter like we're using here. The vacuum we're using for this job is one of our Hypervac Revolution hybrid models. It's the 220 volt variable frequency drive model. This vacuum pulls about 5000 CFM, which is more than ample suction to get the job done. The vacuum plugs straight into a dryer outlet, or if you don't have a dryer outlet, the variable speed 220 volt unit can also run on the quick 220 splitter box. So we'll plug that in and connect our hose from the vacuum to the ductwork. To learn more about the Revolution hybrid vacuum, click here. Now we can power on our vacuum. 